Hello, 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 hello. It is Tabitha. Hey, happy July 1st. So good to see you. Mm. I pray you're drinking your water and staying healthy. Today, I want to come and talk to you about prophetic decrees, decrees, declarations, affirmations. I come to talk to you about these things and we're going to have some that we're personally going to speak over 2021, over July of 2021. And so you may be asking, what are prophetic decrees or declarations, Tabitha? What, what are you talking about? Well, these are prayers that we speak over our life and our future based on the word of God and the promises therein. And when we speak these prayers, when we speak these declarations and decrees, they in essence open up the heavens to manifest God's word over our lives and our families in God's prosperity, abundance, health, um, everything that you can think of, right? Because the word of God governs all of these things. And so this power is released from heaven and it manifests the biblical promises in the earth realm for us to take advantage of. Isn't that good news? Yes, indeed. And so the Bible says that even the angels hearken into the voice of the word. That is the word of God. And so I'm excited to talk to you today about some of these decrees and exactly what it means. So you might be saying, okay, well, what does the Bible say about these decrees and declarations? Well, first we know that there is power power. There's power in the tongue, right? The power of life and death is in the tongue. And so we know that we have the authority to speak a thing into existence, right? And then Job 22 and 28 says this, um, you will also declare a matter and it will be established unto you and the light will shine upon your ways. So there is a biblical precedent that is set, right? When we speak the word and when we declare and we command our day, we command our month and what it will be in the earth realm. And so we prophetically begin to activate the heavenly realm in the earth. And so we know it's God's will for our life because it's in the word of God, right? So we are always tapping into what the word of God says first, right? And so that's where we get these uh, declarations from. We're basically taking scripture and turning it into a declaration. A lot of the world may say an affirmation, right? Or an I am statement. And so uh, Psalms 119, 105 says this, my notes are, the word of God is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. And so we must spend time studying the word of God. We have to spend time uh, in the Bible, right? And and the, t the stories will teach us, you know, God will even speak to you. There will be times where you'll just flip to a verse or you'll say, God, what do you have for me today. And sometimes even your Bible app may pop something up on your screen. And that's another way that God is speaking directly to you about the decrees and declarations for the word of God. Hey mama, I see you over there. I am over here like preparing. I'm so glad to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so when we start talking about decrees and declarations, you may be wondering, so how do we pray prophetically, Tabitha? And how do you know which Bible verses are right? Because as you ask God to show you, right, uh, what the word of God, what he has for you, he'll begin to give you scriptures. You know, you'll find something that resonates with you. And when you find that scripture, like one of my scriptures for a long time was Jeremiah 29, 11, And that is, I know the plans I have for you to declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Yes. And he will guide you. Amen. He will guide you in all paths of truth and righteousness. Ask the Holy Spirit, what are you saying about me in your word, right? Where can I find a scripture to stand on? And God will, he'll take you right to it. I mean, he's got pinpoint accuracy. And so this is how you will know. 
as you begin to spend time. And so right now, I just want to go over some declarations that I have spent um, some time just researching. And I begin, I want us to begin to just decree and declare into the atmosphere. It's very powerful that we take the first month uh, or the first day of every month and tell that month what it's going to do. And so we give this month an assignment. We break old habits. Everything from the first six months is gone, right? Right? And so the next six months of 2021, we decree and declare, and that's how we start these statements. I decree and declare that July 2021 will be filled with new beginnings, according to Isaiah 43 verses 18 and 19, where we do not call to mind the former things or ponder things of the past. Behold, I will do I will do something new, says the Lord. Now it will spring forth. I love this verse. Will you not be aware of it? The, another uh, translation says, do you not perceive it? And so I will even make a roadway in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. And so that's the scripture that I'm going to give you the following declarations. As I maintain my covenant, walk with God all through this year. While others will be drying up, I will be flourishing because my case is different, according to Genesis 47, 15. Because I have made choice to serve the Lord, I will continually increase more and more, and my path will become brighter and brighter, according to Proverbs 4, 18, right? And that's another one of those scriptures where you hear me talking about, oh, I, I glow. Um, and that's that's the scripture is based off of Proverbs 4, 18. Another declaration, as I continue to serve God, with joy and gladness, God will make me to laugh and all that here will laugh with me, according to Genesis 21 and 6. As I walk in the light of the scripture, the destructions and devastations of these hard times shall never come near my home, according to Psalms 91 and 7. The next declaration, as I seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness throughout July and all of the remainder of 2021, I will never lack bread and water on my table, according to Exodus 23 and 25 and Matthew 6, 31 through 33. The next set of declarations we are decreeing and declaring your days of supernatural breakthrough are here now. And so according to Luke 5, 1 and 8, as I remain on course, Jesus was preaching at this and he was he was at Galilee, actually, and he had passed all the crowds and people were listening to him and the word of God. And he noticed two empty boats at the water's edge. And this is when he was talking to Simon Peter and he they had been fishing all night. Right. And he told them, cast your nets on this side of the boat and they were mumbling and grumbling and saying okay lord well we've been fishing all night but he said no cast them on this side and and as they did what the lord said as they follow his instructions and his directions they saw a harvest they saw a breakthrough so much so that the nets almost broke okay so much so that they all they had to go and get some help my god in heaven and this time it says their nets were so full of fish they began to tear a shout for help brought their partners in the other boat and soon both boats were filled with fish and on the verge of sinking when Simon Peter realized what had happened he fell to his knees before Jesus and said oh Lord please leave me I'm such a sinful man look he knew that he had been he had been doing it wrong but God will show us a right way God will show us a way of supernatural breakthrough and so I decree and declare over July 2021 that we will see supernatural breakthroughs in every area of our finances of our faith of our family of our marriages and everything pertaining to us everything we set our hands to do we will see supernatural breakthrough in the name of Jesus and so the declarations are as set for as I remain on course with the divine plans of Jesus Christ I will be breaking forth on every side in these hard times yes God according to Joel 22 verses 1 through 11 in the year of 2021 whatever represents an air of pity around my life will be turned to a testimony of envy in the name of Jesus, according to Isaiah 60 and 15. In 2021, and by my commitment to practicing the word of God, no matter the heat on this earth, it will not affect me and my household, according to Exodus 9 verses 1 through 7. 
the next scripture or the next declaration. As I continue to serve God, every generational curse hanging around my life will be supernaturally broken this year in Jesus name, according to Exodus 23, 25 through 26. Next, because I am attached to this prophetic destiny, whatever clears the way for my pastor will clear the way in my life and my household in Jesus name. According to first Samuel chapter 10 verses five through six, because the, because the righteous do not beg bread. The days of my joblessness are over the days of my clientlessness. The days are over. Those days are over for look. Clients will come from the East, North, South, and West in Jesus name. According to Psalms 37 and 25. And because of my covenant walk with God, my children will emerge as high flyers in their lifetime. According to Psalms 112 verses one through three. Because my God is a rewarder, there will be no more dry seasons in my business and in my career, according to Hebrews 11 and 6 and Revelations 22 and 12. Because of my covenant walk with God, my children will emerge. Oh, I already said that one. Uh, as I walk in obedience to the commandments of the scripture, my household will emerge as, as a family of giants in Jesus name. According to first Samuel two verses 22 through 30, we are giants y'all. God calls us giants. We will emerge as giants, giants as a career coach, giants as, as a, a life coach, as a nurse, giants as everything we set our hands to do, right? Giants in consulting, giants. Giants in everything we said, our people are going to know our name. We are the ones that they talked about. We are the ones that they've seen about. We are the giants who will emerge in this season according to the word of God. Hallelujah. In 2021, I walk in the fear of the Lord and I will be divinely guided into realms of supernatural abundance and breakthroughs according to Isaiah 58 and 11. And for every form of shame I may have ever suffered. There will be double restoration for me in 2021, according to Isaiah 61 and 7. I'm telling you, God is about to do some supernatural breakthroughs in 2021. And specifically, it's going to start now. So I want you, if you're catching this replay, please share it out to your friends and your family. Please tell somebody that they've got to decree and declare these things over their life, over their ministry, over their business, over their family, over their homes in Jesus name, because God's about to restore some things. God God's going to restore your total and complete health. God's restoring health in this season. And according to Exodus 23, uh, you must serve only the Lord your God. If you do, he will bless you with food and water and protect you from illness. This is God's protection. This is God's word. God is not a man that he would lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. And before one drop of his word will fail, heaven and earth will pass away. I, I'm telling y'all, God is for real about his word. He is for for real about us getting exactly what we need in his word. And so if you are someone who is feeling infirmity or sickness in your body, I just double dog dare you to stand on Exodus 23 verses 25 through 26 and say, there will be no miscarriages or infertility in this land. And God will give you long and full life. You will not have to deal with any infirmities. God will protect you. God will heal you. He is Jehovah Rapha, the Lord God, our healer. And so I just want y'all to know that God is serious about what he's doing in this season. And so the declarations for the healing and the health being restored by my faith in the finished work of Christ, my health will be fully restored this year in Jesus name, according to Jeremiah 30 and 17. And you notice how I keep going back to the word of God, because all of these declarations come from the word. This is simply me putting this in a first person so that we are making it applicable to self. And we are speaking the word into the earth realm because God's word is powerful. Hallelujah. According to the word of God in Matthew 8, I am free from every form of sickness and disease this year in Jesus name. In 2021, through the revelation of the word, health and vitality will be my testimony. According to Job 33. Throughout 2021, I will not need any form of medication to stay healthy and strong in Jesus' name, according to Jeremiah 30 and 17. Every age-long ordeal in my life comes to an end right now in Jesus' name, according to Deuteronomy 28, 59. Whatever does not glorify God in my body is cursed today in Jesus' name, according to 1 Corinthians 6 and 20. 
Every medical verdict against me from the past is changed to a testimony in Jesus name, according to Matthew 9 20. Every planting of the devil in my body in terms of sickness, disease, pain, discomfort, and afflictions is rooted out right now by the blood of Jesus Christ, according to Matthew 15, verse 13. As an ambassador of Christ Jesus, reconciling the world back to God through soul winning, I will continue to live a sickness-free life in Jesus' name. See, we got to be committed to the things of God, and this is how we activate these promises. I'm telling y'all that some of these promises promises are contingent upon us doing what God told us to do. And so as long as we are continuing to go after the souls, as long as we, because the Bible says it's wise to win souls, as long as we continue to do just that, God will begin to manifest. He will manifest his blessings. See, because they're contingent on our obedience. We know that obedience is better than sacrifice. So we're going to do what the word of God says. And we're calling down these blessings because look, he will not withhold any good thing from those who live upright. So continue to live upright, continue to walk out these scriptures that I'm giving you. And I'm telling you, if you got to hit the replay sometimes through the week or through the day, go ahead because that's what it's here for. I'm telling you, God wants us to live in complete and total health. God wants us to live in a supernatural breakthroughs under an open heaven. God has been singing to me about living under an open heaven. There is nothing that he is going to withhold from us this year. And that is what we are decreeing and declaring at this time. And so I say this, as I continue to give to the poor, I will be totally delivered from every affliction of sickness and disease, according to Psalms 41. Every generational curse, spell, enchantment is dropping off of my life this year, this moment in Jesus name, according to Galatians 3. Every spirit of infirmity tormenting my life, my family shall come to an end right now in the name of Jesus, according to Luke 13. I believe that serving God guarantees longevity. Therefore, God will satisfy me with long life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, according to Psalms 91, verse 16. And so we're walking and we're living in these decrees. We're living in the word. We're holding God to his word. See, God is like a, he's, he's our Abba father, right? And is just like a child with their natural father. See, we, we hold them to their word. Their word means something. And since God is the ultimate father, he loves to hear us repeat his word back to him. He loves to keep, keep to be in remembrance of his word, to be in remembrance of his promises. And so he wants us to do just that. He wants us to stay in remembrance. He wants us to keep telling him, but God, your word said, but God, your word says, but Lord, I'm going to stand on Christ the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking saying it's the word of God for me. It's the word of God. Okay. I'm telling y'all get a scripture in your life and decree and declare because God wants us to live by faith. He wants us to continue to know that he won't fail us, that he's not going anywhere, that he's going to be right here holding your hand through every trial, tribulation, situation, and circumstance. He is here all the way, 10 toes down. God's got your back. So we tell him this month what to do. We're saying 2021, July, 2021, this is what you're going to do. We will be blessed in and out of season. Hallelujah. We will continue to walk by faith and we will continue to hold God at his, at his word, because this is our year of overcoming. This is our year of overcoming oppression, suppression, repression, depression, hallelujah, all of the pressures in Jesus name. We're overcoming because God says for the time has come to avenge his people, according to Isaiah 63, to ransom them from their oppressors. So we are overcomers. We are more than overcomers. We are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. We overcome according to Hebrews 2 and three. So what makes us think we can escape if we ignore this great salvation that was first announced by the Lord Jesus himself and then delivered to us by those who heard him speak. God wants us to know that he is a covenant keeper. And so we have a covenant relationship with him. We have been bought by the blood of Jesus. And so there is nothing that he will withhold from us. We will overcome this year. We will overcome in every area and every dimension, whatever that area is for you, you know what it is. But you just begin to decree and declare, I'm overcoming that. I'm overcoming that in Jesus name. And always put the blood of Jesus on that. Always put in Jesus name. I'm telling you, that's how God wants us to live a life where we are overcoming in
in Jesus name because God came so that we will overcome the world, right? He came to show his love to the world. And so we are his representation and his love to the world. So continue to decree those things over your life. Continue to walk in your overcoming destiny. Continue to pray prophetically the scriptures that God has put on your heart in Jesus name and tell your day what to do. Command your day, command your month, your weeks, and your years in Jesus name. I pray that something I have said has blessed you. If this is your first time hearing me, I pray that you will hit the subscribe button, like, share, and tell a friend about this channel. I want you to know that God loves you. He never stopped loving you. He created you. And I want you to know that he gave his son, Jesus Christ, for your life. And so if you're saying, Tabitha, I want to know more about this God. I want to know who's got you so excited. Please share. And so I want you to know that if you will, if you feel an unction in your spirit right now and you say, I believe that God is speaking to me. I believe that this was just what I needed to hear right now. I don't want you to leave this broadcast without saying, God, please forgive me of my sins. It's that part right there. When we can say, Lord, please forgive me. I've done wrong. I haven't been perfect. And trust me, none of us have. Okay. And so I want you to just know that God, all he wants is a yes. All he wants is a yes from you. Here am I, Lord, send me. And so if you'll confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and that he died for your sins and that he came, he, he died, he and rose again on the third day for you and for me, then I'm telling you, you will be saved. He sits right now on the throne in heaven, constantly making intercession for you because he loves you so much. And so I welcome you. If you just said that, if you said, Lord, I believe in my heart, I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, then you are saved according to Romans 10 verses 9 and 10. And so I just bless you. I know that angels in heaven are rejoicing over one soul. And so if you're that one, I thank God for you. I thank God because he'll leave the 99 and go after the one. And so I just bless God that if you're that one, that God loves you so much that he would have you to hear this broadcast today and be blessed. Hallelujah. Be blessed and saved for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. I thank you again. Please again, like, share, and subscribe. Tell somebody about the declarations to speak over your day. Speak these declarations over your month. Hallelujah. And continue to just have decrees and declarations that you speak every day. What I do is I have declarations that I have on my mirror and it's a great way for me to tell myself what the word of God says to just take these scriptures and make them into self affirmations and declarations. So I decree and declare that this day, this month will be prosperous and filled with supernatural breakthroughs for me and for you in Jesus name. Have a great day and I'll see you all next time.